That's in there, please. That's in there. Shark's in there. There's a shark floating around. Better stay out of it. Move over to the end. So what does it need to do, Bob? First thing for a person to start pulling birds. Get rid of that dead cat on the <laughs> I was waiting for it, mate. How much have you had to drink? Hey, I'm speaking English. Yeah, you do. Yeah, mate. Where are you from? France. France. Is your sweet as a lit? Is your nap up a français? Yeah, it's all fine. We've just done someone. Sorry, I don't speak French. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'll get you a drink of water. Just a bowl of water. I'll go get it. Just as long as you have a drink of water and call it a Water? Water. No. The first thing I noticed once I got him onto the board to do the return trip to shore was that he was without his boardies. It's weird, she sort of got out of the water and she was like happy and smiling. Losing your boardies is one thing, but this guy was an extraordinary pain. It was a head scratcher until I sort of got him to shore. And his buddy goes and gets him a pair of uh, boardies and chucks them to him, and sweet, he's gonna jump up in a second after he does the underwater put on, and uh, he just stays, <laughs> he just stays there. Nothing much, mate. Just my Ah! Not nothing, man. Just looking at the mechanism of injury, I'd have to imagine that his girlfriend, or maybe ex-girlfriend now, has kicked him in the nether region and really, uh, Slowed him up. She was climbing the ladder, and the crown jewels were the first step. I'm in pain right now. Can't talk. Fix your shorts up, mate. Fix your shorts up. Your are hanging out of your shorts. Yeah. All good. That's all right, man. Big Big ones. Goblin. It must be. It's got to be. No, it's not him. Perhaps this superhero can get help from a local hero. Excuse me. Okay. Hey. No, what are you doing? Get the out of me. <laughs> you know where Green Goblin is? Nah, man. Is he down here? Yeah, he said he'll meet me here. Yeah, I'll check it down there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, good luck, Raj. He gave me a little kiss, right? But uh, mate, I was just in my own zone, man, heavily, eh? Hey? That doesn't surprise me. I've seen, you know, it's just a walk in a park down here. At least he's got his clothes on. Like, he's completely asleep. Definitely dehydrated. If he dies, he's already half buried. All we got to do is cover his head up. All over. I was stuck! <laughs> I was stuck! I was stuck! <laughs> Please help. Oh, someone's, someone's stuck, stuck in there, in man. Sewer. Please help me. Please. I'll you. Someone appears to be caught down a drain, but lifeguards don't seem too concerned. He's like the Bondi troll. He's been down there for years. Mate, please help. My helmet's broken. A local wag pretends he's caught in the drain. Just drop the feet in. <laughs> Are you hungry? So far, no one has bought the story. What are you doing? Oh, well, we need help from you. Okay. Yeah, no, nah, seriously, no, someone's stuck in here. Please. All right, mate, no worries, we'll get some on. Don't cry, don't cry. Can you talk to the for us? Please. Please, we'll call his mum. Someone's stuck in the drain. Hey, wrap it up, you goose. Oh, uh, it's very funny, boys. I've just been pulled off the beach to check this out. It's not funny, right? It's a Christmas present from Mum, so, you know, what can I say? I've got to wear it. What colour are you calling them? What colour would you Cerise. say that is? Cerise! Cerise! Oh. That's not right, but it's a good colour. It's not pink. It's magenta. You've never heard of that colour, eh? No. Yeah. Hey, excuse me. Do you want to swap sunnies with my mate? Do you want to swap sunnies with me? Go on. What colour do you reckon they are? Uh, what colour is that? 
Was he good at a say that? No, mate. The lady with the pink thong was sitting there going out to sea, and she had her phone in her hand. I was like, are you all right? She goes, um, I think I need some help. Hold on to and she's kicking there. She's like got her iPhone wrapped in one of those waterproof cases, just sitting there on her pink thong, floating out to sea. Oh, classic. If only Nikolai had the woman's phone number. The message might have made it through. Well done, Andrew. How are you doing? But yeah, I was explaining what not to do when you, you did. What I did, I wanted to get wet. <laughs> if I had a body like that, I'd leave my shirt on. <laughs> that was one of the most scariest moments of my life. What are you doing out there so late at night? Thank you so much, darling. Thank you. Oh, I finally found you. <laughs> You're the man I've always wanted. Urgency more. Come on. Oh. Oh. He hit the water really, really fast. <laughs> On a beach littered with bodies, Corey checks for signs of life. Still breathing. <laughs> yeah. What's that? <laughs> really? Is he with you guys or? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Don't drink too much, it's bad for you. <laughs> Don't drink too much. <laughs> The rescue victim may now be safe, but he's a little confused about who the camera crew are. He promised my family up young the Bondi rescue. Same thing, yeah? I just wish I was asking about Bondi, bro. You guys be there tomorrow? You be here tomorrow? Nah, it's Bondi. Are we with that for a Bondi now? Is that this Coronola? No, this is Bondi Beach. Serious? Yeah, this is Bondi Beach. I thought he was in Cronulla. That's a 30 kilometre different train lines and everything, like, that's a... <laughs> he's way off course. Are you supposed to be for another? Yeah, bro. You looking, mate? Yeah, 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 thanks. So I thought my wife was bad with directions. That is, like, next level. Gases in the shark's decomposing body make it float to the surface. As bacon clowns around, the shark launches a surprise attack. Bacon's just, I think, just silly. I don't think he realises he was trying to kiss it. Not smart. That karma stuff can't make a bite you. <laughs> shark well, face moment. to face with the shark, and he breathed on me. And oh, never felt more crook. It was disgusting. It was the most disgusting, hideous thing you've ever seen in your life. Some special people around here. He's <laughs> got a hairy bottom. No chance. The flamingo is going to fly away. Yeah. If there was a lifeguard that seen himself as a flamingo, probably be myself. <laughs> but we all reckon he's a bit more of a peacock with his tail fluffed up, shaking his bum around. <laughs> you need a hand? Hello, gorgeous. Um, Your fork. Oh. oh, what about the ball? Where the ball? No, I have to be honest. Um, um, my my bloody umbrella went somewhere, yeah. and I've got three other girls that are chasing a mad ball. The probably ball. The worst. <laughs> Let's have a little fly. Can we take it for a little ride? Oh, she yeah, she yeah. I've tamed a couple of wild lovers in my time, but I've never tamed a wild flamingo. <laughs> Look at Harry. Oh, yes. Oh, what a gentleman. <laughs> oh, my God. Cargos. Oh, the ball's Wait, back. Is the ball? Ball. That ball is going to fly away. Yeah, it's one right again. I've pretty much seen it all. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. I've rescued 5,000 people out in the water. <laughs> I've rescued a wombat on the shoreline. Oh. There you go. That's what happened. <laughs>
Today I was challenged by a blow up flamingo. <laughs> hey, Harry's no flamingos on the beach. <laughs> Gotta put it in for this boy, mate. Oh. There you go. I got him down to the water's edge. That's so good, I'm so proud. And then all of a sudden, the blow up beach ball took off into the air. Oh, go up, ready? Go up. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The rescue has torn his shorts off. No, don't hug me. <laughs> it's not worth a hug. In Australia, we don't man hug. We just shake. Just shake. Shake. And a little kiss. No, 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 no. Do you feel a bit better now? A bit better? Do you want to spew? Do you want to vomit? No? What about if you look at Maxi? Does he make you want to vomit? Keep sucking, keep sucking, keep sucking. The green whistle seems to affect everyone in such a diverse way, and Jeffro not being too big of a guy, it affected him quite quickly. Pop the locker and take me to Charlestown. Harman <laughs> crew prepare the doors for landing. <laughs> he might have been even flying a 747 at one stage. Says your captain speaking. <laughs> you would be the most gorgeous flight attendant too. I should have been a flight attendant. <laughs> Keep sucking up. Not experienced in the art of shark rescues, Maxi and Troy attempt a technique normally reserved for unconscious swimmers. With an unconscious person, you roll the board over and flip their arm and use the board to pull their momentum to pull them back onto the board. But I don't think that'll work with a dead shark. They seem to be trying that. They got it up. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, as I was paying out there, I noticed he had the big Ray-Bans on, like, uh, you know, Bellucci and the Bruce Brothers. No two rescues are the same. But some stand out more. You know, over the years doing rescues, I see all different types of people, but I never thought I'd see the Blues Brothers drowning. <laughs> Edward and Leo, also known as Jake and Elwood, are brothers, but not from Chicago. They're actually on holiday from Brisbane. You right? This is good. This stuff is <laughs> sick. This is ridiculous. Tell the ambulance people to take their time. Just <laughs> tell them to take their time. This is fine for now. <laughs> oh, that is slightly painful. Oh, naughty. Leslie, do you have a spare cigarette? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the funny thing is that there was no one in the room called Leslie and he doesn't even smoke cigarettes, so he was out there. <laughs> As the painkillers wear off, Ollie learns about some of his strange mutterings whilst under the influence of the green whistle. He was a bit shocked when we asked him, you know, who was Leslie and why did he want a cigarette? Wait, what? <laughs> I said this? I was meant to meet someone today called Leslie, but I didn't even smoke. <laughs> so, half, half of it was right, but the rest was just crazy shit. God love the green whistle and God love the morphine. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure whether these undies that he had on were like biodegradable or something, but there didn't seem to be much of them. It was safe to say that um, it was a full moon on the, on the way in. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was quite the sight. <laughs> he just gave me a wave and uh, off we went our separate ways. One of the more difficult ones I've done, but here he is, he's coming in. Mate, have a go at those undies. As always, Muzzin knows everything. So he, he goes, yeah, I'm all right, I'm Super Mario from Mario Kart. He's sticking his radio into the car battery and thinks it's going to work. We actually know how to do it. I, I know. It's so easy. Yeah. I go, so black yeah. goes on on the uh, negative pole and positive, so red, red pole. 
when I saw the spark, I thought, oh, that's great. We, we, we got the electricity running. We on. Oh, they're smoking. Turn it off. Turn it off. Take it off, mate. Bang. What do we got? He's smoking the joint out. Turn it on. Turn it off. It's gone. Take it off, mate. Oh, take, it off. <laughs> take it off. The boys start saying, Mario, Mario, take it off. Take it off. But I was scared. Take it off. And most more coming, and all the, the, the jumpy leads were we start to melting, and then oh, oh, I said, no, there is something wrong happening. Did that just melt that? Yeah. Oh my God, it's all happening. It shouldn't happen. Hey. Well, it shouldn't catch on fire, no. Nah. Catching on fire is not what jump starting is, man. Hey, girls. Can't swim here. No swimming. See how you got your clothes on? Oh, very dangerous. If you swim, jump between the flags. Yeah. Oh, look out, we're going to get caught! How do I think I've grown and I'm looking more like my twin brother, Kerbox. <laughs> Grave digging isn't in the lifeguard manual. Oh. Oh. Say a couple of words, Maxie. I don't know. I'm not really good with words, mate, but... Uh, rest in peace. He's, he's, rest in peace, mate. He's had a good life, by the sounds of it. Let's just call him Frank. Frank. See you, Frank, mate. Nice knowing you. <laughs> you can speak a lot of languages, can't you? I can. Hola. <laughs> Como estas? <laughs> Speedy Gonzalez? Arriba. <laughs> can't tell me one about this. This is our little secret. Well, what's that microphone up there? Nothing's on. As Nicola's instructions are lost in translation, lifeguard and swimmer are quickly swept further from shore. Okay. I got to him and I was trying to explain to him how to get on the board. He didn't really get it, so I tried to demonstrate. And he goes, oh, I see. And so he started hugging the board from underneath. I just thought, you know what, that's close enough, so. <laughs> Thank you. Min is from Taiwan. While his approach may be innovative, Min's underside board hug technique isn't helping him or Nicola make it back to shore. <laughs> As Hoppo picks up more swimmers nearby, Min is offered the express service with Mario. <laughs> But this doesn't go to plan either. He just was sunk like a stone. <laughs> All right. After almost 10 minutes since he first got in trouble, Min completes the 30-metre journey back to shore. Don't worry, just a very tired, because I, uh, I don't have a sight. Exercise in a long time. Yeah. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Bad luck. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm going to relax. See you. <laughs> I wish I could go to relax. <laughs> when you rescue someone, there's no real etiquette, there's no signage on the board that says, of, you know, correct way to get on the board. Lie down, lie down, lie down. Lie down. Here we go, lie down. No, not like that. <laughs> the woman, Georgia, takes a laid-back rescue technique, which could be referred to as the sunbaker. She's sunbaking on her back. Can I just took her on board. I thought it was funny, and I knew when I was paddling in, there'd be a lot of commentary coming from that lifeguard tower. Make sure you stay close to shore next time, OK? Then straight away, I had to go back out for another person. You right, buddy? OK. Hop on the board, mate. Hop on the board. Come here. I'll take you in. Harrison has a chance to show Hoppo that the previous rescue was just a one-off accident. That guy jumped on my board and straight on their back. It wasn't ideal, especially, you know, like, first, first time, you know, you get led away with it, but second time, alarm bells start ringing. I love it. That, that would only happen to Harrison. Best ever. Yep, the guy's in the same position. I love it. <laughs> this is gold. Harrison's trying out a new rescue technique this afternoon. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I think Harrison's going to be uh, on his own here. I think it's going to be a 
a Kiwi technique and that's all it'll be. We just come to Bondi to swim, but it didn't really go as planned because the waves are very powerful. <laughs> and uh, so we came out and tried to uh, keep ourselves occupied by digging a hole. <laughs> It's just what we do on the weekends. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go, man. <laughs> you done? It's here, right? Well, it's fun as well. Whenever something strange is happening at Bondi, Bondi's strangest lifeguard, Harry's, is never far away. Give it her coladas. Put it across here. It's a true social distancing. What are you going to do is drop a couple of drinks off to keep you hydrated. Yeah. All right, you're the face of Bondi now. <laughs> as well as saving lives, Harry fancies himself as an expert in beach science. He said, what's pressure? Because the metre squared is one tonne. Yeah, so it doesn't look like much. So, you know, when people dig out two metres squared, you know, yeah. <laughs> it seems like Bondi's latest celebrity visitor has arrived. Charles like, oh, must be another celebrity. I wonder who this is. You would see today's celebrity on the cover of any magazines. But he does have a famous name. This is Hefner. Hefner? Yeah. Like Hugh Hefner? Yeah, well, his mum name, mum's name was Playgirl, so he got Hefner. <laughs> Two-year-old alpaca Hefner lives up to his name with the ladies and looks great in any selfie. That's not my first alpaca I've seen, but it's definitely the first one I've seen on a beach. It's so random. Bring more, I say. Bring the herd. Herd. Maybe it's a pack of alpacas. <laughs> Hefner lives on a farm three hours south of Sydney. He's visiting Bondi on a day trip. Kids love him. And dogs, eh, curious. I see a lot of unusual things down at Bondi, so it never really surprises me what you see day in, day out down here. <laughs> Ashok nearly died, but he's not planning to tell his wife about it. My mother-in-law, she doesn't know, and the reason we don't want to tell her, because um, we are afraid that she might not let him in again in the beach, you know? <laughs> What she doesn't know doesn't hurt her. Nah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or your dad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little bit of experience came into play on the way back in, and Harrison nailed it like a seasoned veteran, and Ryan got smashed like a rookie. Yep. No. Ah. <laughs> it's in the barrel. <laughs> in front of all the guys. You want to impress them and all that, and definitely one of the things not to do is um, no stop with a patient, that's for sure. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is, some more. <laughs> you OK? This is a hospital case. Yeah, he's definitely had sushi. Just... Yeah. You know, I thought it'd be best if I just gave her a bit of a present, a culture exchange, and showed her what the emu and kangaroo can do. Yeah! Harry's, of course, wanted to have a go, and I thought, well, do I let him have a go or not? And I thought, why not? Come here, Harry. Amazing, this is my dream. It sounded like the music on the Titanic when it's about to go down. <laughs> Take a seat. Take a seat. <laughs> it was like I'd just blown like three or four balloons up. Oh, Derek, it was lovely to meet you. Yeah, lovely Thanks. to meet you too. Lovely to catch a wave. Sure. Love Thanks, Derek. Again. That was really good. Thanks, mate. You want a kiss, bro? No, mate. <laughs> Thanks, Derek. Right. Yeah, you came so close. 